this is kind of like a stream of consciousness video. It's not scripted. I really didn't have a plan. I really hope this video helps you. Yesterday was the first day of summer and it's like 108 degrees outside. <laughs> it's so hot in Sacramento. It's Ugh, it's so hot. I haven't really left the house in two days because if you step outside the house, you feel like you are cooking and I hate that. <laughs> when the weather gets warmer, I start thinking about my body more. I have a weird relationship with my body because my body has been through a lot of things in my life. I have a lot of feelings toward it. On one hand, it does so much for me. It helps me do so many amazing things throughout my life. It helps me breathe. It helps me hug people. It helps me move. On the other hand, I don't like the way my body looks. And I think this is something that we can relate to. I have certain parts of my body where I'm just like, I don't wanna look at you, or the way I feel about my body, or the way it holds me back because I have chronic pain. I don't like it. Recently, I've come to the, to the conclusion that this is the body that I got. I don't get to change bodies. This is it. This is it. And I can mope about it and feel bad about it and want to change it. Or I could love my body accept my body, and do good things for my body. On Instagram and Facebook, I asked you guys to ask me questions about body positivity and self-image and self-love. If you would like to be part of my Instagram or Facebook family, the link is down below. Come and join us on our Instagram and Facebook journey. When did you start gaining body confidence? Throughout high school, I had a lot of people tell me different things about my body. When I was a kid, no one told me that I was fat. No one told me that I was unlovable. First hit to my self-esteem was in sixth grade when a girl told me that I didn't shave my legs correctly and I didn't wear a bra and people are making fun of me because I don't wear a bra and I don't shave my legs and I never thought about doing those two things at all in any instance until someone said that to me. I also had a few bad relationships when I was a teenager. I had boys tell me that my boobs are too small. I've had boys tell me that I have so many blackheads on my nose. I had a boy tell me that I have blackheads on my nose. I didn't even know what a blackhead was until he said something. I had people tell me that my thighs are too big. I've had people tell me that I'm too thin, too fat, too lean, to everything. And that really distorted the way I thought about my body. Because so many people were telling me different things about my body, I started to think critically about my body. I started to eat really unhealthily. Unhealthily is not a word, but you know what I mean. I started to not love the body that I was given because other people are giving me messages that my body is bad. And it wasn't bad, but people just like to give their opinion on your appearance. That's our society. They love to tell people that you're too thin, you're too fat, you're too blonde, you're too bubbly. I don't know. They like to comment on your personality and the way you look. And that really affected me. I started gaining body confidence when I was in college. When I started learning about how the media that I consume is not real. The models on magazines that I would look at as a teenager aren't real and are not obtainable in any way. I started following people on social media that were body positive that I loved. I started to purge my life of the negative people in my life telling me that I'm not good enough. And I would fill my life with people who love me. And I know that's really, really hard to do, to purge people out of our life, to not let these things get to us. But that's kind of how I started this body confidence journey. Purging my life of people that were toxic and putting in my life things that are positive and people who loved me. Someone asked the question, how do I embrace weight gain? Does weight loss belong in body positivity? I had an eating disorder when I was a teenager and it ended me in the hospital twice because I was so thin because I wasn't eating. This could be because my anxiety was so bad that I didn't want to eat or people were telling me my body was horrible. I had friends who would tell me that I'm too fat, which was not the case. Through my body positivity journey and through my recovery with my eating disorder and my anxiety, I started gaining weight. And that's really hard for someone who has an eating disorder to look in the mirror and say that you're bigger because the thoughts in your head that were so ingrained in your head to be thin are still there and it's still part of your recovery. And it's hard to look in the mirror and see those pounds and to say, I'm better, but I still don't like the way I look. That's the reality. And that's all part of the recovery process. Yes, you have gained weight. I call this my happy weight. I am the most weight that I've ever been in my entire life, but I've gained so much weight. 
and I call it my happy week because I'm happy and that's kind of how I deal with it. I put a positive spin to it. I say to myself, this is my happy weight. I'm better and that's okay. Being bigger or gaining weight is not a bad thing. Yes, I look completely normal and I jiggle a lot and that's fine. It's my happy weight and I love it. And so put a positive twist to it can really make the difference. And does weight loss belong in body positivity? If you feel like you're overweight or you're unhealthy and you want to be more body positive, body positivity just means you love yourself. You're doing good things for yourself. You're putting positive energy into yourself. And if you feel like you're overweight and you're in an unhealthy way, and you want to fix that or you want to eat healthy and sleep more and do a bunch of self-care that's all body positivity and that's all fine to do how do you stay body positive when you obsess over certain things about your body i think everyone has one part of their body that they don't like I mean, I don't know anyone who doesn't look at their body and go, yeah, it's the nose. Oh, I don't like my boobs. It's hard because we all obsess over something. I would say it's all baby steps and all positive self-talk. If you keep telling yourself, I hate my nose, I hate my nose, my nose is awful, I hate it, look at it, it's so big, that's gonna be ingrained in your brain and then you're really gonna think that even though your nose is fine. But if you tell yourself, I'm beautiful, I'm awesome, my nose is fine, my nose compliments my face, putting those positive energies out there, it's gonna change the way that we think about ourselves. I know it's a bit cheesy, but trust me, it works. How do you realize you are changing your body in a healthy slash unhealthy way? That's a fine line and a lot of people don't really know a lot about that. I would say you just know in your heart when something is wrong. For me, when I was changing my body in an unhealthy way, I didn't feel good. I didn't feel good mentally, I didn't feel good physically, and I just knew that this was unhealthy. I was restricting food, I wasn't eating, things like that, or I was exercising ton and I just didn't feel good. I felt dizzy. I felt nauseated. I felt awful. That's when you know what you're doing when you change your body is unhealthy. When you do it in a healthy way, you gain energy. You feel good in your mind and your soul and your body. You feel better. And I think that's the line. And if you don't know, I would go to your doctor if you feel like you don't really know if what you're doing is correct. You can always go to a personal trainer. You could always go to a nutritionist. You could always go to your doctor and say, hey, am I doing this right? Is this unhealthy? Is this healthy? And get some advice that way. This was your number one question. This was it. How can I love my body if I have imperfections like scars, stretch marks, lines, bumps, acne, pimples, you name it. I suffered with self-harm for so long and I had so many scars on my body. I fell out of a three-story window when I was seven and I have scars all up my arm because of it. I gained a lot of healthy weight, so I have stretch marks. I have pimples because I have gotten so many full body sunburns because I'm an idiot. I have imperfections on my body. How can we love them if they're imperfections? Well, everyone on this planet has something on their body. It's not like we see magazines where they're super smooth and awesome and oh, this lotion makes me feel so smooth. People aren't like that. People are imperfect and that makes us unique. You gotta love the body that you're in. And imperfections don't make you imperfect, don't make you a failure, don't make you less than a person. I always try to look at the positives. I'm gonna take scars for an example because I know a lot of you struggle with that. When I look at my scars, I I could feel like crap. I could feel like an idiot for falling out of a three-story building and getting scratching myself up. I could feel like an idiot because I re really had some bad coping skills when I was a teenager and in college. I could feel bad about myself and think about the negativities or I can turn it around. I can say, yeah, I did some weird crap when I was younger or I did some weird crap last month. I'm a different person than what I was back then. I am more positive. I am better. I got through that. Everyone is imperfect. There's no one on this planet that is a perfect human being. I want you to know that. I have a video on how to have a positive body image 
and I would really recommend that video because a lot of what you guys are asking is in that video. A lot of my tips on how to be more confident with your body is in that video, so I would definitely go watch it. How do I cope with loving yourself when others put you down? Don't listen to other people. I know that sounds cheesy, but it's completely true. I had a lot of people when I was a teenager tell me that I'm fat or what I'm wearing is awful or what I'm wearing doesn't compliment my body or my fashion sense is awful. I had so many people tell me that. I had a boyfriend tell me that my boobs were too small. I, I uh, uh, that I was, I was tricking him with my cup size. These are, these are things that happened to me. I had people tell me that my thighs are too big. I had a boyfriend tell me that I was gaining weight and he didn't find me attractive. These are things that people tell us and they're absolute bullshit. I know it's cheesy and I know you've heard it before, but you can't let those people win. You can't let their comments define who you are. Only you can define who you are. Those people are so horrible for telling you that. They should not hold a spot in your heart. They should not hold that spot in your heart, in your soul. They should be thrown out with the trash, like all the other bad comments that are in your head. Don't let them have real estate in your mind. You and I both know that that's not true. These comments are not true. And even if they were true, so what? Yeah, my thighs are big. Yeah, my boobs are small. So what? Why do these people think that their comments are going to hurt me? You gotta tell yourself, I am confident, I am strong. And these thoughts, these comments are not gonna get to me. This person is not gonna have real estate in my mind. What part of your body do you love the most? And I want everyone to answer this down below in the comments. What part of yourself personality, physical, mental, whatever. What part of you do you love the most? I want to see all of the body positivity down there in the comments. My favorite part of my body, probably, hmm. I really like my eyes and I really like my hair. I really like my teeth. And those are the things that people kill me online for. I love the comments about my teeth. I was reading a really bad troll comment about my teeth earlier saying it was a pause button and I'm like, that is gold. But I really like my teeth. They make me unique. They make me different. They s help me stand out. And maybe down the line I'll fix them like everyone else on the internet wants me to. But right now, I love my teeth. I love my smile. I love my eyes. What, what do you like about yourself? Let me know down below. And the last question I'm going to answer how can you be satisfied with being yourself? This is a lifelong journey and it's so hard to be satisfied with you because all of these people have told you bad things. The media has consumed you with all of these products that are gonna fix you and clothing that's gonna fix you. You don't need to be fixed. It's totally 100% okay to be yourself. Whatever that is, if you like crazy hair colors, you do that. If you like really cool fashion, you do that. If you have an awesome sense of humor, then you show the world that. You show the world you. And it's hard because we have to take out all of this negativity that's been put into us. And it takes a lot of time and a lot of effort to take the bad people out of our lives, to take the bad thoughts out of our heads. It's a long process, but we're strong enough. We're unique as heck and we can be whoever we want to be. And you can be whoever you want to be. I love people who are authentically them and don't give a crap about anything. I love those people. Anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me on my little rant about body positivity and self-love. Let me know down in the comments what do you like about yourself and how do you stay confident and body positive. I would love to know down below. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I make mental health videos every week. I would like to thank my patrons as well for helping me make this video. Without you, this wouldn't be possible. I love you guys. Please stay safe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.